So um, one of the things that we want to make sure that we do when uh, securing the Ubuntu system is to disable the guest account. Um, by default, Ubuntu includes a guest account which allows somebody to use the computer who doesn't have the account on it. Um, you know, if you're going to harden the system, if you're going to secure it, we, we need to go ahead and change that. Um, luckily, it's a pretty easy fix. Um, we're just going to go ahead and open up terminal. Um, since it's up on my screen, I don't have to type anything in, but if I type in term, it'll pop up there. Um, so we're just going to edit um, one uh, configuration file. Um, so we're going to go to et the Etsy light DM directory. If we list out what's there, um, we see the lightdm.conf file. Um, we see another one with the tilde at the end, and that's because this file was previously edited. And um, that is the backup file created by gedit. Um, and instead of using gedit this time, I'm going to go ahead and use um, uh, vi. So to do that, I type in sudo vi. And I just put in the name of the file, which is lightdm.conf. I hit enter. Um, since this is the first time I've typed in sudo in a little bit, it's going to ask for my password. Type that in. And so now we're in our um, VI session. So I want to go to the end of the file, and I want to type in the letter O, which puts me into an uh, essentially an insert, um, creating a line after the line I was on when I typed in the O. And I'm just going to type in allow guest equals false. Um, now that I'm done, I hit the escape key and then the um, colons, colon, and then write W and a Q for quit and I'll throw in the ampersand and I'll hit enter. Um, so if we just cut that file out, there we can see it. So that's all we entered. Was that right there? And in order for that to take effect, we do have to um, either restart Windows Manager or just reboot the computer. And just to make things super easy, we're just going to go ahead and, and reboot it. So I'm just going to sudo reboot. And it's going to reboot on us. And we'll just wait a couple seconds it takes to reboot since this is running in a uh, virtual environment. And it is uh, Ubuntu. It will reboot pretty quick so we're not having to wait very long. I also have this enabled to auto login um, so I'm not getting prompted for a username. Again if we wouldn't want to have that that would not be a secure system but for what I'm doing here it's absolutely fine. And If we click on here we see our guest account is now gone. So again all we have to do is edit that file and put in allow guest equals false.